Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to collect data using a Modbus protocol. Um, I have in here a Modbus device, a simulator actually, uh, which is simulating lots of uh, memory positions. So we're going to be collecting data from uh, this simulator and we're going to be uh, sending this data to MySQL. So in this video I'm going to collect four tags and I'm going to be sending this data to MySQL. Uh, so for starters, I'm going to be installing Vnode. Actually, I have here the installer, uh, run as administrator, okay. Okay, and we have it installed like this. Okay, finish. So I have in order to make the configuration, I have Chrome in here. So Chrome is going to get started and connecting localhost to the port 8003 by default. Let's give a second so the service can get started. There we go. There we go. So the user by default is admin vino, this is the password. Uh, of course, you can change it if you want afterwards. So I just log in and I have, uh, the, so this is Vino, if you haven't seen it before. So uh, the first I'm going to do is I'm going to go to config. I'm going to create a module. I'm going to create a Modbus master module. So I'm going to call this, uh, to call this Modbus. There we go. And I'm going to say this is a Modbus mm, client here. Okay, perfect. I have my Modbus client. Inside my, my Modbus client, I'm going to create a channel. As you know, you can create as many channels as you want, connecting to as many devices as you want. So in this case, I'm going to be uh, creating channel one. It's going to be Connecting to my simulator, my simulator, which is in localhost right now, is this one. The port is correct. Uh, this in this uh, IP, I have a device. It's called device one. As you know, in each IP, I can have many devices, and in this case, I have my device one, and I'm calling this device D1. So okay, I'm starting my module. So I have my channel one and my device one. Now I want to read data from this device. So I only have to go to tags. I'm going to create uh, here. My root folder is, is empty. I'm going to create a group. Uh, it's called Modbus. And inside I'm going to be adding a new tag. It's going to be tag one. And inside tag one, uh, this is going to be a number. So it's going to be, let's make it read and write. Uh, what else? So we go to source. I don't want to scale it or give any details or uh, engineering units. Let's just go to source, in source. Let's say I want to read data from my module Modbus client. The name oh, is, is Modbus. My device is C1 slash D1. Actually, you can use this helping here where you have some explanations about all the fields you have to fill in. My Modbus address is going to be 40,001. It's going to be an integer 16 bits. And here I'm going to be reading every second and it's fine. Okay, and then I already have my tag one. Let's check in here if I'm actually reading something. Yeah, I have a zero. I have my simulator. Actually, this zero has to be the 40,001. If I change here, we should see a change in here. Okay, so also the other way around. If I go here and, uh, and I change the value, in here we should see a change in my Modbus device, which is perfect. Okay, so I, we are reading and we are writing is perfect. In order to have 
uh, more dynamic values I'm going to uh, here go and change my simulation so it's going to be incrementing the values every more or less every second or second and a half okay so let's just make some changes in the values here so we have one two three four different values all of them changing every second so if I go now to tag one I duplicate I'm going to be naming this uh, tag 2 and uh, tag 2 is going to be reading from memory position 40,002 and then again duplicate uh, let's make the, a third one okay number 3 is going to be reading from here and the number 4 is going to be reading from 40,004 okay if I just save go to check it out and yes we have our values and they're changing so it's perfect actually our refreshing time right now in Vnode by default is every five seconds uh, the, the web user interface so if actually uh, I want to change this we can just go here to the uh, web UI and refresh interval we are going to make it faster save and it's going to close the connection and start the connection again with a faster refresh rate there we go okay so now we are reading data every every in every change sounds good perfect so next step okay so we are reading data from Modbus next step we're going to be uh, creating a new module uh, is going to be an SQL client module because we want to connect to my SQL so let's create an SQL client module here uh, scripting SQL client here okay SQL client save I have my SQL client okay there we go now here's where I connect uh, I configure my connections to the database so I'm going to make a new channel as you know you can create as many channels as you want so we're going to call this MySQL in here we can select what database we want to connect to so we have MySQL, MariaDB, SQL Server or PostgreSQL so we're going to be connecting to MySQL in this occasion uh, is, a, is a MySQL in localhost actually I have a, a query browser in here so we can see actually we can browse into my SQL I am a, a database called test which inside actually is empty so we're going to be connecting to a test database inside MySQL so I go back here default database is going to be test I have my user right now I have root my password here we go <clears throat> I don't want the authentication or anything else so uh, okay save so I have this already connected to my database so after this actually I'm going to change this to local timestamp the time zone okay perfect so I'm going to create transactions now so this, every transaction is a group of tags coming from vnode and, and sent to a database or sent actually to a table okay so you can create as many connections as you want and of course you can create as many transactions as you want so I'm going to create right now a history transaction so it's going to be history transaction his is the, is the name um, okay I'm going to enable this I'm going to send uh, based in the events of the tags so all the changes are going to be sent to the database but if uh, a value of a, a tag doesn't change I'm not going to send anything so <coughs> the, the, the database in this case is going to be filled only by uh, values changing uh, all the time <coughs> uh, of course if I want 
to send uh, over and over values not changing to the database, we can select a snapshot, but it is not the case right now. I'm going to send only the changes. So uh, triggers, I'm going to get a trigger, a periodic trigger, let's call it 10 seconds. So every 10 seconds I'm going to be sending uh, the data. <coughs> okay, every 10 seconds, perfect. I'm going to be sending the data to the database. What else? I, uh, I don't want parameters uh, or serializers. In this case, the actually the serializer is going to be custom. Uh, is by default. We already have a default serializer. Uh, we don't need to change any of these. Uh, we have a query, also one by default, that is sending the data uh, to, which includes the, the insert into the database. So we have to only make uh, two very, very small updates to this query, which is uh, the database you want to connect to. In this case is MySQL, but if you want to connect to MariaDB, you need to change in here, MySQL or Postgre, you need to make a change in here. And also if you want uh, to change the name of the uh, table, so I'm going to leave it as history, but if you want a custom name on the table, so of course you can make a change in, in here in this field, and actually that's it. You can just save, uh, that's everything you need to change. And here in tag filters, if you want a specific folder or specific tag name to be sent to the database and not everything, of course, uh, you can create a filter. So in this case, I want to send everything. Uh, actually, everything in my case means these four tags I just uh, uh, created. So uh, you can, yeah, and right now without a filter, I'm going to be sending everything. Uh, so actually that's all. In the moment I press save, I'm going to get a new table inside test and we're going to see all the my four tags filling this table. So let's press save. I'm going to yeah restart. The module the module is starting. <coughs> and if I go to test and uh, make here a refresh, we have history. And if I check what is inside history, I see my tags changing. As you can see in the timestamp, I see the tags changing all the time and they are sent, the value is sent to number value because actually we have one column for the numbers, one column for the strings and one column for the booleans. Actually my four tags right now are only uh, are just uh, numbers. Of course, all these can be customized if you want to change the name of the tags. Here, uh, you can do that. If you want not to have three columns, only having one, of course, you can do that. And if you want to add more columns in the table, of course, you can totally do that. Uh, this is just a very easy way to start uh, sending data to the database. Uh, let's organize this. Uh, by, by right now all this is organized by uh, I think the index <coughs> in this case we're going to be organizing by the timestamp so as you can see every 10 seconds I am getting all the changes that we got in this time period. It doesn't matter if we are sending data every 10 seconds or every 10 minutes. We are never losing anything because we are sending data. Uh, we are collecting all the changes. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's everything I want to, to show you. So thank you for watching.